Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Okay, okay, okay. So, guys, it's that time of the month again. Okay. <laughs> it's not like I do it every month, but it's time for a book haul. I got some books and some books were sent to me as a present. Honestly, I'm so excited and I'm so grateful, but yes. I know, I know, I said I was on a book buying limit and I, my limit was to buy 20 books this year. Guys, I've already bought over 20 books this year, but not like, not up to 30 books, but I've bought over 20 books already. So I don't know how it's going to be by the end of the year. So we would, we would come back to this. I was waiting for the other books to arrive, but it's taking forever and I want to put these books on the shelf. I am tired of... The way they are just on the floor and um, i keep waiting keep waiting so let me just haul these ones and then when those ones come i'll just haul those ones separately you know what i'm saying yeah let's firstly start with the books that were gifted to me so these three books were gifted to me by promise the first one is the rule book by sarah adams i've already read this book i read the arc when it came out and it was so 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 funny i was laughing and because of that that's why she gave it to me and she, inside she actually put a note hell it's not every day i hear you speak so fondly of a book like you do with my roommate is a vampire i know there's really no comp comparison i really hope you get the opportunity to reread books that that you love that is of course if you still enjoy it and of course i am definitely going to be rereading this because i read it on my kindle and i do not even have a physical copy but i would like to annotate this because it was very funny and i like funny books so yeah thank you so much promise i really really appreciate it and the next one she sent to me oh my god this girl i don't know i wasn't expecting it at all she sent me wild love by elsie silver guys this book just came out recently and she already sent it to me so inside she says we can't call ourselves romance readers if we don't have wild love on our shelves can we of course we can't <laughs> promise thank you so much and the third one she sent to me is this one the great alone by christian anna this one we're going to body read together and i'm excited about that i've not read any book from this author before so it's quite new but yeah the note inside this one is quite funny because she says we are masochists of course we are long overdue for a good cry <laughs> but that was that's so cute honestly i already i already unboxed it on my instagram and i posted my you know thank you so much and everything so all the drama has washed off my body but i'm still super excited about this thank you so much promise i really really appreciate them this is how we disappeared by jing jing lee it looks like this um this one i don't know why i picked it maybe because of the cover because it looks like there's a girl on it can you see this girl like an outline but i don't know anything about it so i just felt like getting something that i've not had anyone talk about so i wanted to buy it from someone that was doing a book on all then kenny said oh, okay she'll pay for me no problem i'm like Thank you so much and then when she was to send me that she now sent it with this book uh this is we were once we were girls once by i want no sell order fan we've already read one of the books from this same author tomorrow i become a woman and it was very 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 good and heartbreaking i cried but yeah so we want to read out read this one too so she bought me a copy thank you so much kenny i really really appreciate it oh my god this one i'm so excited for because i received this in a box like a pr kind of thing it was my first time getting a box like that from an author and i've already received some books from this author before and yeah i'm just so amazed and touched by this action i'm so so happy that's golly bay yes bye Adesua Oman Uwonkedi. I've read our other books, so I can't wait to actually get into it. And I'm so I'm so excited. And she also personalized it to me. Of course. Of course. Of course. I was just blushing all through the video, guys. It came in a very beautiful box. It came in with some notes, with uh tea, and with biscuit. It was so cute. Yeah, thank you so much, Adesua. I really, really appreciate it. Then, now let's get to the books that I bought by myself with my money, of course. <laughs> so, one girl on Instagram was doing a thrift haul. 
and it was a sale so i decided to buy these three books now i know you can see for me holding four books that's because one of the books i already had it before but i wanted a ad cover i don't know why I, I just don't know why I, I i feel like these days i really like ad covers maybe because of how they look on the shelf i don't know or maybe because yeah i don't know i just i feel different when i'm holding an, an ad cover is it an a ad cover but anyway anyway so one of the books is this one eleanor oliphant is not okay oh it's completely fine i said it's not okay it's completely fine um the under the dust jacket we have this and then we have the end papers looking like uh chess stuff yeah so i got it even though i already have the paperback of it so i'm definitely going to be giving away this paperback version because i don't need two copies but when i want to read i will read this one and if i read it finish and i don't like it definitely giving away both of them of course <laughs> the next one i got from this sale is sophie kinsella's mini shopper olic like daughter like mother like daughter so this is how it looks like i i got this because of the cover and i have quite a lot of sophie kinsella's books i don't know why i've not read most of them but i keep buying most of her books maybe because i find most of her books as thrifts most time but i was interested in this one in particular and i think i have another one in the shopping thing i i just realized when i went to on goodreads that it's part of a series like there's they follow each other so i think i would actually like to read it in order and one of my students mother said she has read this and it's so funny and cute so i'm excited yes of course i'm excited i'm always excited oh. <laughs> what's wrong with me Mm. Another Sophie Kizzi last book that's uh this one is Finding Audrey. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know. Maybe because how how simple the cover is, and this girl reminds me of Wednesday. That's why I bought it. <laughs> so I got this classic. Uh, is it a classic? The diary of Anna Frank. Actually, it doesn't have anything in the front at all. So I have to show you the cover like this. <laughs> like this. So I bought this book because my student, one of my students from Israel, looks just like this, exactly like this. She's very young, she's 10 years old, and she was telling me, I look like Anna Frank, and I'm like, it's always Anna Frank. So she said, I should go check out this diary of Anna Frank, and since then, it has been on my mind to buy this book. So when I saw it, I decided to snag a copy. And look at the girl, looks exactly like my student, exactly, guys, like the, the resemblance is un uncanny. It's crazy. <laughs> then I got Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I've never read any of Jane Austen's books, but a lot of people make reference to this book a lot. And I also wanted to get into classics, so I decided to get this one. I hope I'll like it though. But this was a thrifted copy and it looks so freaking clean. Although the font is really, really tiny, but I will try it. I really want to read it because I feel like People that read classics are always these brainiacs and <laughs> I don't I, yeah. Then I got this one also, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. My, my boyfriend always calls this Sun I don't know. He says Sun Chizu, but it's Sun Tzu or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is where things get crazy. I got My Dark Desire by LJ Shen and Parker. S. Ottenton. Ottenton. Um, I have My Dark Romeo, which I've not read, of course. I've not read it, but because I have the book one, of course I have to buy the book two, and it's very pretty. Both of them look stunning. They are stunning. So that's why I decided to buy it. I've had I've heard mixed reviews about this. I've had mixed reviews about this one in particular, but then good reviews about this. But all the same, I've seen another lady that loves this so much. She said the banter here is so crazy, it's so funny, and I'm like, okay, okay, we shall see. Then I also bought the things we leave unfinished by Rebecca Yaros. Ask me if I've read any other. Oh, you know the funniest things. I thought the Rivers was by rebecca yaros but it's, it's rebecca ross it's actually fourth wing there's i think i don't know i don't know but yeah and then the last book you guys drum roll please drum roll please 
is still beaten by Jennifer Hartman. I have heard a lot. It's a dark romance, but it will break your heart. That's what people say. So I want something that will break my heart, but also be a romance, you know? Yeah. So I'm excited about all these books I got. Tell me which one you think I should get to ASAP, okay? ASAP, ASAP. And I will get into it. I think the ones I bought with my money are one, two, three, and nine books, and the rest were gifted to me. So thank you so much promise thank you so much kenny thank you so much adesua i really really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in my next video okay subscribe deuces